All right, everyone, here you go. Chevrolet Malibu. Uh, it's got about, I think about 19,000 miles on it, I believe. Yeah, let's see here. I think it's 19,000. 19,288. And it was towed in. Customer complaint was check engine light was flashing and the engine was running rough. So I looked into it and uh, this one has a pretty common issue that is happening on these newer Malibus and Cruises. The little engine, the little turbocharged engine that they have in these, I think it's a, I can't even remember exactly what size it is. I believe it's a 1.4. Is it a little, a little 1.4 turbo, I think. Oh, 1.5. So this has got that new 1.5 liter turbocharged engine in it. And we have seen a lot of these. These things are dropping like flies. Uh, the pistons are actually coming apart. They're coming apart, they're melting. I saw one with the cylinder head off that had all four pistons melted in it. And this one in particular, cylinder number one has failed. It's misfiring continuously on cylinder number one. You do a compression check, there's no compression on cylinder number one here. So what I want to show you guys in this video is what severe blow-by looks like. I've never really had the opportunity to demonstrate blow-by due to a failed uh, piston, but this car is a perfect example of what it looks like here. So if you if you give the engine some throttle. You can tell it's misfiring. You can see the flash and check engine light there. Hey, you can see it misfiring. You can see it's running rough. But get a load of this. See all this oil around the cap here? That's not there just because. That's because this thing has a lot of blow-by. Take a look at this when I take the oil cap off. Hear that? That is some serious blow-by. That's what you want to look for when you're looking for blow-by. It's that pup, 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 like a freight train. Go back here, listen to the exhaust. Definitely misfiring, and it definitely has some severe blow by. So, this one will probably end up, if it's not too bad, it'll end up getting pistons. If it's really bad and it's to the point where it's damaged to the cylinder walls beyond repair, it'll probably get a whole new engine. Well, There's a common issue that we're seeing on these things, unfortunately. The new Chevy Cruises and the Malibus with this little 1.5 turbo, the pistons are just failing left and right. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if it's a poor material or what it is, but not even 20,000 miles on this car and uh, piston number one has failed. So it's a, it's a common issue. Again, I, I don't know what the cause of it is exactly, why the pistons are failing, but the fix to this is if the engine isn't damaged badly, they put pistons in it. And if the engine itself is damaged beyond repair, it gets a whole new engine, obviously. Anyways, hope you guys found that little clip interesting. I'll see you in the next video.